Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mokalover, and this episode, I really hope that we can make a good push against those dastardly Russians. For their line, much like the German line, is very depleted of soldiers, well, maybe not so much soldiers as it is equipment. <coughs> so, that is our goal. Uh, and, and if we do well enough, I will title this video, Volvets. And what does that mean? In German, Volvets means forward. And that'd be very interesting. Alright, so we have less factories, it looks like, than the Russians. But if we can take Kiev, the crown, crown jewel of the Ukraine, or one of the crown jewels, maybe not the crown jewel, but one of the crown jewels, we must take it. So, with that in mind, we're about to start off super fast, get our bearings straight still in, and see what we can do before we unleash hell. And it's going to be a strategic hill. Oh, we definitely need some more support equipment. Oh my god. Um, yeah, we're still building things quite well. We're repairing things in Suitaro, which we actually really, really need. Uh, other than that, we're looking pretty good. We're looking pretty darn good, pretty darn tasty, if I have to say so myself. Uh, we're getting attacked up here, but I believe we're not really suffering from any attrition. So you know what? Let's extend the front line again. We're doing well at holding this line here, and my, almost every single cavalry division we have are just veterans. The winged Austrian-Hungarian Hussars are the best in the world. So, with that in mind, it is March. Oh, we're suffering a little bit from attrition. Oh, that's a lot of divisions. And we're going to wait for our boys to get a little bit more organization before we move on out. And by move on out, I mean we're going to move on out right now up here. Small strategic attacks. Eight. Oh, maybe we can't win here. Maybe we, yeah, maybe we can't. But that just means we might have better opportunities somewhere else. Good. We're winning here, probably. Good. If these guys are going to distract this area, then they can't send divisions elsewhere. And if they can't send divisions elsewhere, we can probably send our divisions to another place. Oh, capital ship target focus. Good. So we get, uh, in the heat of battle, our captains are largely disorganized and fire. For the most part, inexperienced commanders will simply order their ships to fire at the nearest enemy vessel, which isn't always the most important target. Ensuring our fleet commanders know the priorities of enemy ships will ensure we spend more time in battle focusing on the prime pieces of the enemy fleet and less time worrying about what dis enemy destroyers are up to do. So with that in mind, we are going to go with coordinated fleet move just so that we get more battleship organization and more capital ship attack, even though I do want to do infantry stuff which benefits the entire line. We, I really want to use my navy, which is 14 and 14, for capital and screens, which is good, so that they have a little bit more of an edge against the enemy when they have a good fight. Uh, I know the next area we're going to attack, we're going to attack right here. Uh, they're moving divisions. I'm going to wait for this two to get out. All right. This episode, we are doing strategic attacks all over the place. Did we just lose that last battle? Maybe we did. Seven. We are adding soldiers to this front anyway, so. Alright, not bad. You got so tired you had an extra reserve. Good. This is not winning, so they're trying to send soldiers away. That's fine with me. Good distraction, good distraction. Eight, seven, eight. Yeah, fighting the marsh is just so suicidal. Oh, they are... Ooh, maybe. You guys can go straight here, and you could help out, as well as you could help out as well from this front. And when they're done attacking, I'm going to send half of you guys to help attack as well. Even though they are kind of... <clears throat> some of these divisions are attacking over the river. So, yes, we do not have support equipment. We actually have a giant lack of support equipment, but everything else is doing very, very well. Uh, let's see, we could get some armored cars, but eh, we'll wait. So Since we're doing so well on weaponry, I'm going to move some of these down to help out the sword port equipment. Let's get up to 40 here. Um, I really don't want to lower anything else. Guns, I'm going to leave that alone. Motorized, I really don't want to touch motorized very much. We'll do that. Good, yeah, we, and we definitely lost this battle. That sucks. That's okay, as long as we can win elsewhere. That'll be good. 97, good, we took that province. Next, oh wow, that's a lot of divisions over there. We've already made some territorial gains in the on the Eastern Front. Great. Uh, anything here? Oh, war bonds, definitely need that. Definitely, definitely, definitely need that. Good, improving some things here. Are you getting attacked? Yes, you are. Oh, yeah, we did replace the general last time with Heinz Lippert. He was field marshal, but now he's a general. Oh, he has less defensive entrenchment. 
But now he's under this guy who has defensive entrenchment, so I'm not really concerned about that. Actually, do you have any de defensive things? Yeah, you're an infantry leader, so you actually have some defense built in, which is good. And it looks like we just got some more shoots troop up, which is good. How many divisions do we need to help garrison all the ports? 29, actually. Which means I can send some of you guys to help resistance from spreading too much. So we need 30 there. Uh, yeah, we'll put it over here. We need to garrison the Black Sea anyways. But we do need to help garrison our soldiers here. Even though the Germans already have this kind of defended, I don't really trust them that much. Uh, let's do this. Oh, no, let's not do that. Because we have to guard the coast as well, I forgot. We will have to guard the coast. 31. This is, that's pretty good. Um... Uh, I want my soldiers... I'm only going to garrison provinces that I know I can do well at. I'm going to keep a few of these guys in reserve anyways. Since we're going to need them on the coast to help defend against incoming enemy attacks. You... Yeah, you're still good. You're still good. Alright, so where can we launch another attack? 30 divisions is a little too many for me to attack. 8 divisions seems a lot more reasonable. Or I guess 8 attacking 4. Ooh! Ooh! Baby, yes, please. We just got another research slot. Austro-Hungarian science is the best science. Fact. Absolute fact. Uh, good. Good, 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 good. Next focus. Well, let's do more land doctrines. But it doesn't look like we can. Equipment. We still have a lot of things we need to do for equipment, so we'll do that. With a sixth research slot. Now we can go to infantry stuff. Uh, more defense. Breakthrough. Re-equipped infantry defense and breakthrough. Sounds good to me. Good. Look at all this research we're doing. Amazing. Can I boost anything like party popularity? Oh, I can, I suppose. France. Try to increase support for a political party. I mean, I don't think that really would do very much for us. Yeah, we could do this here, because why not? Dread... That's a lot of political power a day. Never mind. Holy crap. Five political power. I thought it'd be like one, maybe. Uh, let's see, nine. Yeah, I can't attack there. Ah, but I can't attack here. Hopefully. Yep, looks like we might be able to. The Russians, I hope, are very much out of equipment. Oh, yes, yes. Give him that infantry expert as he's attacking. <clears throat> That'll prove to be very, very useful. We have won the battle here. Awesome, awesome, awesome. As we are trying to... You go over here. Awesome. Knock him out. And you can send one boy from here to help out as well. Make make them feel our presence. Good. Oh, I'm five. I have one over here. I will have to reorganize this line. Kind of, though. Eight divisions. It's a marsh. Oh, we're still attacking this area? Oh, gosh. Let's see. We're producing more support equipment, which is good. Six divisions. Well, looks like these six divisions are going to have to go bye-bye. Take half of you guys help out as well. Just grind down their resources. That's what really matters here. If I could encircle these 27 divisions, that would be extremely impressive. Eight. Nine. They're still fighting. Oh, looks like the, oh, the, West, the Western Front has decided to spark back up a little bit. Who's, who were getting attacked by this time? The French. Oh. All right. Very interesting. Very, very, very interesting. Yeah, I don't want to attack that province. 91. Yep, they just keep attacking, so you're going to get probably a lot of XP. But you're already under Conrad von Hutzendorf, a very, very famous Austro-Hungarian general who has served us faithfully so far in these years and has helped single-handedly defeat Serbia. Much better than historical. Conrad von Hutzendorf. Oh, Flammenwerfer! Nice! More breakthrough. Awesome. Uh, more soft attack. More. Ooh, more soft attack for leg infantry. Oh, let's do that. Yeah. Um. Hmm. We might be able to attack this province, actually. Let's do it. Do it. And this is. This is planes? Planes. Local province attacks, less attack, less speed, and less division attrition. But we might win here, since the numbers are going down, which is very, very good. Equipment ratios. We're not making very much motorized a day, but we have 3,000 in reserve. That's good. And we're out of 2,000 pieces of equipment. Actually, I want to lower you since we already have enough of that. Put you on medium. It's fine. 
good, good, good. Seven, three, six, five. Yep, looks like we can continue striking into here. Probably, yes. And then we can probably strike into... Oh, we'll strike into here. We're going to surround Kiev before we actually take it, basically. Twelve... Oh, four. Wait, we didn't win that battle. Uh, take only four this time. Because I want to keep four in reserve to help them keep their organization up so I can continue attacking as my soldiers falter. <clears throat> actually, and then I'll keep actually you doing the same idea. So when the attacks don't pan out so well, we can continue attacking when we're done. Uh, infantry. Well, he's definitely getting experience, <clears throat> which is good. Alright, we're not exactly winning here, but we are draining the enemy of their organization and resources, which is really what I want to do. It's really a war of attrition at this point. Oh, we are winning. Maybe maybe sending the, the boy back in. Awesome. We are slowly gaining ground here in Eastern Europe. I'm really liking this. Uh, this battle might not win. 12 divisions versus 7. Maybe we'll win. Maybe. It looks like we are winning. Uh, let's see here. 8 divisions against 7. That's not going to work. 4 divisions against 3. <clears throat> oh, good. We went up here. Awesome. <coughs> Excuse me. So far, so good. So far, so freaking good. How have we not won this yet? But 98, 99, and we won, but then someone came back and wants to die. We've lost less than half a million? About half a million, though. Russia, how much have you lost? You have lost three over three and a quarter. And it's actually almost evenly split between the Germans and, and the uh, Ottomans. Interesting. So convoys are easy prey for our ships, and very important targets as well. Yet, as if by instinct, most of our captains prefer to fire at their escorts instead, essentially wasting time and allowing critical cargo to escape. If we drill a focus on destroying enemy cargo ships above almost all else in our doctrine, we can severely hamper our enemy's economies. Yes. Better upgrades for the ships. Good. Uh, like I said earlier, let's get some more fast mo fleet movement in there. Let's see. Destroyers, good. Uh, we still producing some military factories. Not too much, not too much. But since I have soldiers down here, we can go ahead and continue making more. Uh, looks like the Bulgarians are kind of suicidal. That's okay. That's pretty normal. Oh, these Russians are dying. They will die for the country. How much manpower does Russia have? Huh. I hope the audio is blank. Cause, oh, they have a lot of manpower. They went to extensive conscription. Um, guys, uh, I think I was messing with, around with my headset earlier. So. If you can't hear audio, I apologize, but if you can, well, just ignore me right now. Cool, we won the battle. Great. Slow, calculated attacks. Oh, and the Japanese are here again. Uh, I will strike out in the Adriatic once we have 20 destroyers. Then I'll feel fairly confident that we have enough soldiers there. God, Zara, what the hell? Even with level 5 coastal forts. Jesus. Absolute craziness. Alright, so we've won most of the battles. Let's go ahead and redeploy our front line here. We do have six armies on the eastern front. Pretty impressive. Okay, we want to go from down from Romania first. Up to here. That'll be good. Go ahead and reform yourself so we have a little bit more equalized front line. There's no real weakness in our lines. And that would probably give us some sort of advantage in, when attacking into enemy lines. Actually, I could save on support equipment if I don't make so many divisions. Hmm. Well, let's make some more best soldiers. We need 10 equipment. That. It's fine. Take half of you, so three more divisions. Make them some thicker boys. Good. Oh, and we're getting attacked in the Middle East once again. Are you level 7 yet? No, you're still level 6. You have no more traits that you can gain that I can upgrade you with. Invader, Commando, Skilled Staffer. Panzer Leader, obviously not. Defense is so broken in World War One. Oi. Oh, right. Oh, equipment effort. Nice. So, I'm not going to read this, but we get bonus to infantry weapons. French Warfare. Ooh. Er oh, that's pretty much outdated at this point. Chemical Warfare, Special Forces. Yeah, all this is pretty much outdated. Harsh rationing. Military Youth. Yeah, better... Division training time. Eh, we'll get paramilitarism next, because there's not really much else that we really can do. Alright, so we're going to strike here next. It is 
June 8th. Oh, wait, these guys aren't ready to be deployed. Eh, that's alright. They're, they're at least as strong as their count 20 with counterparts, so I'm not really worried. There's only five divisions here, but that's still a marsh. I could attack Kiev, but that really wouldn't be very fruitful. Hmm. Hmm. If you hear an uh, instrument in the background, uh, just please ignore it. Anyways. Could we strike here with 14 divisions against 6? That sounds like a pretty good idea to me. But you know what? I could be right. I could be wrong, but I could be right. <clears throat> 5. 5 divisions going to hold out against 17 divisions, apparently. Uh, 8 over here. I could probably take the river at this point. Yeah, let's go ahead and try to take the river. I would have liked to make an encirclement, but I would rather actually just get more territory than actually encircling and destroying divisions. There's no real good way to do that in World War I without armored guards. Oh, these guys are melting. This is the most melting battle I've ever seen in World War I here, or the Great War, which will, which was what they're probably going to call this war because we're not sure what else to call this. Oh, look, Von Bulow, and then Ete Marat. Cool. Who is this? Von Bulow. Von Bulow. Cool. Uh, still have nine divisions over here, whatever. Oh, we're, we're losing the battle. Oh the, oh, the Germans have decided their war machine is started on June 20th. Okay, Germany, here we go. You're attacking. I might as well help you out. I, f I feel for you, Germany. Kaiser Wilhelm. It's at this point. I think we can be fairly successful here. Uh, I don't feel successful about this, but we'll help support you. I mean, our goal is to literally grind down those uh, the enemy's manpower, so... and Or not really with the manpower, but the, but the equipment. That's really what we're getting at here. Yeah, they're not really attacking down here. Oh, we're across the river. Good. Good, 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 good. 24... Oh, my lord. 24 divisions. Yeah, we're going to have to redeploy this army here. Once this battle's over. And we hopefully win. Yeah, Jeremy, just keep it up. You're draining yourself of all sorts of equipment that you really could probably use, but that's okay. Now ah, we're getting invaded in the Western Balkans, but what else is new? Uh, well, we made some headway with the Romanians. Awesome. Uh, if you could get across there... No, you can't get across. Dang it. That was so close. Uh, send you guys, send half of you over here. 24 of you guys. Send half of you. I've really got to redeploy this front line. Oh my gosh. This might be the final offensive. Germany can muster up. Probably not, but, you know, they're pretty weak. They are pretty darn weak. Oh, we actually broke across the river. Holy cow. I'm trying to really solidify that river crossing. Good. Give them hell, boys. Give them hell. This is actually, like, the first real offensive that we've actually been able to move very far. Nice. Push them across the river. That's good, boys. That's good. Oh, they, they definitely don't want us to win here. But they look fairly weak. Maybe give our boys a little bit more support. Hmm. How much does... Kiev does not have any forts. I want you guys to get trained up a little bit more before we attack, but they're they're so weak anyways. If we attack from these directions, can we win? Maybe we can win. Maybe, just maybe. Ah, uh, the Bulgarians, yeah, that's a little crazy. Come on. I want one of these battles to win here. 66, 67, 68, 66. Throw them in there again, and we're getting invaded in the Western Balkans. Now, I'm, I'm literally looking at my ships here. I want, I want one more ship here before I send them out into the water. And we have another Dreadnought 3. Great, 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 great. And we'll have a Dreadnought very, very soon anyways. Good, we're doing pretty darn well here. No one's really getting invaded. This is good. Except for this province. This province is being a real bitch. But we look like we can actually take this. 75. Oh, this is good. This is really good right now. Oh, I, I think there's something in the air right now, but I can feel that the Russian army is starting to... It's starting to show signs of cracks, which is extremely, extremely good. Now we want to finish up... Oh, we actually have Kiev. We actually have the city of Kiev. Oh, that, that just proves it. Ukraine will be ours, and ultimately, 
Russia will have to have some sort of peace with us. Which will be fine. Which will be great. Which will be amazing. Oh, look at that division. Oh, it's so weak. Oh, but we do have Kiev. So good. I'm not going to garrison provinces that um, I don't have full, mostly full direct control over. So all of the Romanian stuff I don't really care about. So, Guys, I don't have control of it. Why should I care? Uh, we do need to attack over here. Ooh, group infantry equipment 2. Very good. And we have a bonus for more defense and soft attack with an improved light machine gun. Ah, uh, nothing like warfare to tell you that you need better guns. So good. Do you have engineer? Oh, or invader? Oh, you have engineer, which is good. You have no more areas for more traits for you know, these things. Alright. Very nice. We are probably going to win okay, across that river there. Oh, man. Oh, and we are getting attacked. Our allies are getting attacked, at least. All over the place. At least it's one hell of a hot spot. How many Americans have we killed? That's an interesting question. We've killed a... We have killed... We personally have killed 433,000 Americans. Holy crap. I don't... I can't believe that. Are you kidding me? Oh, did they... They actually landed. They... Oh, God, no. They actually landed on a port. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. All right, ships, you're, you're in. Kill everything that moves. Kill everything that freaking moves here. Battleships, destroyers, cruisers, I don't give a shit who it is. Blow them up. Yeah. These Portuguese, these Japanese ships, and then a few Italian subs. Yeah, no. Good good luck, destroyers. I don't want to lose you, but that's why I waited until I had 20 of you. So if I lost a few of them, that's okay. Hmm, eight divisions. You know what? You might need some support here. You might need some serious support. We'll attack from several different directions. Killing them all. And then we will have a great time. See, we still have three down here. Might be able to do actually something right here. Drain with the resources. How's this battle going? Oh, well, nothing's happened. They have two, quite a few light cruisers. 20 ships versus our 40. And we did push them out, which is great. Eh, 23, whatever. Please don't die, destroyers. Please. Oh, we, I think we're attacking the subs. They don't have very much strength. Maybe not. I don't know. The destroyers are trying to meet ours. Oh, that's what, that's what you get, destroyers. That's what you get. Yeah, come on. Call, on, call on your ships. Battleships are trying to engage, but the ships are pulling out way too fast. We haven't lost a single ship yet, which is really, really awesome. Come on, battleships. Blow them up. Well, the battle seems to be going very, very well in our favor. Across all fronts, really. Theodore, you're going to get one hell of an experience here. Oh, Creole... Crivoli Re, Re... Wow. What type of fucking name did you <laughs> name that? Well, whatever. That's alright. Send the boys down here. Good. This is going very well. Oh, four ships. Oh my god! I, we, we look away for a second, and we see we blew up an, an extreme number of ships. Let's go ahead and repair. Uh, I want you to repair, guys. As much as I want you to blow up more ships, they'll be there later. So, we didn't lose a single ship. My god, Miklos Horthy is so good. We sunk 15 enemy destroyers, 11 enemy light cruisers, 4 enemy battleships, oh my gosh, and 3 enemy armored cruisers. I mean, Jesus Christ, the Austro-Hungarian Navy is just... It's so good. It's so good. It's the best navy in the world. Oh, 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 actually, we could probably use more... Engineers, probably recon. Oh, logistics. Oh, God, there's so much I want to do with 1918 tech. And there's so much time that we have. Actually, we need to get better ships. But our ships currently are doing a great job. We don't need to do much, but let's get some more artillery first. That'll help kill enemy soldiers and equipment off. Okay, we have 41 ships now. It's not like EU4 where you literally can just steal enemy ships away. That's always fun. Um. Go ahead and help attack. Huh. Is there anywhere up here? I mean, at this point, we're pretty stretched over here. There's not really much we can do in the north. But how about this? Try this on for size. We might actually both strike. 
Might actually do well here, maybe? Five divisions? Well, they are getting stronger if we don't attack them. Ooh, military youth, very good. So we get a little more population recruit. Sorry, boys. You're going in, into the meat grinder. But at least you're not Russian. So that's six. That's six over here. Uh, we really need to redeploy these front lines once again. Good, we took that area. And now we're over a river. Good, good, good. And the Russians are. The, the British are attacking once again. How many ships need repairs? It's probably not too bad, actually. Does any, any ship need repairs? I guess not. I guess we're all done. Great job, guys. Yeah, just blow up anything that moves here. But if you encounter the French or the British Navy and there's too many ships, yeah, go home. Just go home. Awesome, we took another province. Great. Great, great, great. Supply situation. We're losing our deficit of support equipment. We have enough field guns and support almost everything else. It's just support equipment that needs our attention. So good. We are doing extremely well, guys. I'm very impressed now. Taking time to rebuild up our country, our stockpiles of resources, has really, I think, have paid off. So I don't think the Russians can really keep up with our industrial might. Okay, let's go and redeploy our front line once more. Good. I would like more than one division here, please. Like, for the love of God, one division's probably not very much. Ah. <sighs> All right, let's give them some time to redo some stuff. Uh, are we encountering a few more enemy ships? Yeah, the British and the, the British and the French navies don't like to come to the Adriatic. I mean, I understand that's not really their territory, but the Italians have lost a lot of ships. They've lost. They only have twenty. The Portuguese have fifty. One. That's, that's quite a few. And the Japanese have lost quite a few as well, but they still have how many? Oh, hundred. Yeah, they don't like sending ships to the Adriatic, which is kind of surprising. That's fine with me. All right, so it looks like you're done moving around. Let's go ahead and take this city. Good. A war of movement, which is great. But we we get more speed. We get more organization loss when moving. Uh, we get less entrenchment speed. Less entrenchment, which sucks, but more planning speed. So now, though, we get the rest of the trees unlocked, and I love <clears throat> superior firepower. Oh, oh, and that's important to notice. So. This doctrine focuses on throwing shells, not men, at the enemy. Our manpower is precious. Bullets are cheap. So with that in mind, the Greeks have just declared war on us. Shice, I don't have an extra army. I don't know what to do. I think this front will hold, and it's pretty stable at this moment. I need you instantly over here. And that's why I'm sending the Greeks over here. These guys. This is bad. This is bad. They're going to come in. They're going to do a lot of damage. Uh, and this is a new front. I knew, I knew something was going to happen with the Greeks. It just took until 1918 for something to happen. I, I need you to get out of there. I need my man out. Should have left that army not on the western front, but down here in Anatolia. Oh, not Anatolia, but Serbia. But nevertheless, battle show must go on. All right, Cersei, you have how many divisions here? How many divisions do you have here? Uh, there's five divisions. Yep, we are doing more major offensives right now. If the Greeks want to come in, well, then we'll kill more Russians. Yeah, we took the city. Awesome. Good job, guys. Uh, now we'll attack here. Good. Have we made it? No, yes, no. We have not made it down there. Oh, were their de soldiers defeated? Oh, but the, our other soldiers, our 12 division army, has made it down partially here. Uh oh, what happened here? What happened? Uh, nice, sunk an American convoy and two enemy subs. Great. 42 ships. Good. Oh, now they're attacking. Oh, they actually got one of these provinces back from Malata. Malatya. Good, 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 good. Hmm. Here? Sounds good to me. I really want this province, but eight divisions on, on this part. It does not sound very smart. Uh, six divisions attacking here will be uh, a little suicidal. But we're doing very well now. 
Keep them grinding, keep them grinding. We have enough equipment, we have enough men that we can tire out those Russians. Tire out the Russian industry and economy, basically. Oh. Oh, war propaganda? Oh, we don't really need that. As much as I would love to do that. Oh. Oh, oh we lost two destroyers. That's not good. We'll probably lose a few more. But the enemies will definitely lose, will lose a lot more than us. And that's the main goal. So, you have Eastern Macedonia. How many divisions are actually... Oh, that's a lot of divisions. Well, since they took that province, uh, southern Serbia, I'm not going to garrison this anymore. There's no point to. There's just no point to waste my soldiers' lives over there. Oh, nice! We didn't lose a ship, but we did sink six enemy destroyers, three enemy light cruisers, and another heavy cruiser, as we are firing on more Japanese ships over here. Good, good, good. So... You know, let's do that, just in case. 32. Oh, we'll need this. 35. Constantinople, that would be, that would be too much. Keep a few in reserve. Kiev is fine. It's just, it's so good to see Kiev as ours. 19. 19 divisions. You need a little bit more help from another direction as well. You should be able to melt them at this point. Uh, over here, I'm still disappointed by this. We're going to keep attacking. Oh, how about you? Oh, infantry expert. Yeah, that might help. That might really help us. And we're getting invaded in the Western Balkans. What else is new? Oh, actually, this is a... Uh-oh. Oh, no. This is not good. Uh, they have their ships here. We have a good chance of winning. We are equally matched. With the British ships finally arriving, we've lost quite a few destroyers already. Oh, we're going to lose all of our destroyers, aren't we? Yeah, we lost all the destroyers. Now we're really going to do some serious damage, though, with our battleships. You want to blow up my destroyers? Oh, we're going to lose a battleship, probably. Yep, we lost a battleship. Yeah. Yeah, with you destroying all my destroyers, you just lost out on living. Sorry. Not sorry. Okay, so before we end our episode, let's try attacking this. Oh, uh, you guys can actually help out, probably. You'll need some extra support. Six divisions. Let's do that. Followed up. Uh, can you strike down here? No. You cannot. But that means you can strike up here. Which is good. Six. Oh, we won here. Awesome. You guys come up here. And you guys will strike all along the line. How have you not won this battle? That's insane. Uh, what have we lost? Yeah. Okay, so we lost four... Oh, wow, we lost four battleships? At least we weren't Dreadnought 3s. We did sink enemy four enemy battleships. And then a battle cruiser, two heavy cruisers... 14 light cruisers and 6 destroyers. Alright, so, at this point, like I'm always going to say, just go home. Go ahead and repair. We can't compete with the enemy navy right now. We only have, no, oh God, we only have 9 battleships. That's not good. That's really, really not good. And I'm going to have to keep an eye right now on making sure that we actually just actually go home. And then we'll end the episode. Soldiers, please go home. Please do not engage enemy fleets. We need more battleships now. I need more naval dockyards. Go figure. We have 15 for this. Almost two a year for Dreadnought 3. That's pretty good. We do have a crap ton of naval experience. Holy cow. But it looks like the Entente or the Allies are really trying to kill us here in uh, southern Serbia. There's so many divisions. Holy cow. Oh my gosh. My horsemen. We're doing so well, holding out against the enemy lines. What do we need? Yeah, I know it. Support equipment. We needed support equipment. God dang it. Well, ah, looks like we're attacking here. We'll do one more thing before we end. Push these four divisions out. Good. All right. Good job, guys. Good, 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 good job. So, let's pause it here. So, what have we encountered in this episode? Well, I will still name this title, as you can tell, Vavats, but... We have definitely expanded in the Eastern Front. It may not seem like much, but it is one hell of a monumental victory for us that we can show the world that we still have got a lot of fight in us and that our stockpiles are pretty much full, except for support equipment, of course. With that in mind, though, uh, next episode we should be able to strike further into the Ukraine because their divisions down here aren't super strong. And we have been attacked, though, however, in southern Serbia, which really sucks. Even though, other than that, we did win. We did lose quite a few ships, but, you know, can't win them all. Thank you very much for watching, guys. I will see you in the next one.
Like the vid, subscribe if you're new, and I will see you tomorrow. Thank you for watching.